Welcome back guys to a brand new video. So yeah, today I'm gonna start working on the John boat. Finish that project up because it's been like probably two months since I haven't touched the boat at all. And so as you could tell, still needs the, needs the floor, the decking, and then that's pretty much it. And probably later in another video, probably do the carpet in the back. I just gotta sand down the old adhesive and put new adhesive and put carpet. And so yeah, today I'm gonna work on the Jumbo. I have to go to Lowe's, get some angle, angle aluminum for the support right here. So I tested it out. I put the flooring in the support in the middle. The wood binds down to the floor. So I gotta put support there. And then uh, that's what I gotta do at Lowe's. And then the flooring on here is good. I probably won't do the hatch until later, but that's good to go. I was thinking of putting carpet here, but I'm not quite sure. Do I really need carpet here or not? Probably leave it how it how it is. And then uh, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So um, probably in probably at the end of the video, I'll do a little tour, quick quick tour of the Jumbo. What's what what is left to do? And then I'll show you a little quick tour of the truck I'm using to pull the Jumbo. So yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys. There's a few things I gotta work on the boat, as you could tell. Hopefully, you're able to see it right there. There's a little, little. Uh, the aluminum at the back is getting eaten up, but I don't know. It's aluminum. Same thing right here. And as you could tell, hopefully, you're able to focus it. I put rivets down there because they had a hole. I feel like it's probably the battery acid because I keep the battery back here and it keeps moving a lot. So maybe that's the reason why it's getting eaten up. So maybe the acid is eating up the aluminum, who knows. So yeah, I gotta work on that. Probably have to repaint this just in case, have it secure. And then um, and then as you can tell, there's a few holes in the bottom as well. I gotta patch up, same thing right here. Make sure there's no leaks, test that out, take it out in the water. But yeah, that's pretty much it what I have to do today. So I gotta, put the decking finish it hopefully I'll be able to finish that today in today's video as well as this part um, fix up the little holes I got in the back and then that I have to go to Lowe's get some angle aluminum I already got the screws I already got everything so it's ready to go and then probably I'll give you a little small tour like I said small tour of the truck I have as well and so probably at the end of the video probably do the quick tour take it out in the water and see how it is so far so far I turned this bad boy on too so it's been like probably a week since I turned it on. So it's working properly. And so, you know, like I said, it's a 25 horsepower Nissan outboard motor. And so it's a 05. Nissan doesn't make these motors no more. I, I think Nissan owns, it's another company that starts with a T, I'm not quite sure, but it's not called Nissan no more. So this is the 05, but it's working good properly. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I got planned for today. So yeah, let's get it. All right, guys, I just got back, got back from the from the from those it was pretty packed you know sunday but um uh, then i had to do some errands real quick but i already got the angle aluminum right here got it right here with me uh i'm not quite sure so it's uh one eighth i believe it's one eighth angle aluminum 16 feet six feet i mean so i think it'll be it'll do the job and so i'm gonna have it here for the support beam have it ready cut that out currently right now it's 225 it's pretty hot right now hella hot in Florida, you know, I think it's a, uh, let's see, let's see, I believe it's 84 degrees right now. It's not that bad, but the sun is beaming, so it's pretty hot. So, um, it's 226. Hopefully, we're able to finish this project. Put the decking, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's the angle aluminum. So, yeah, now I gotta take out the supplies. So, yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm gonna have it like this, hopefully it goes down, and then from there, so yeah, I'm gonna have it like this, other way up, and then from there, measure where it stops at, cut it out right there, cut it out right here as well, and then cut it out right there, and then have the support right there for the wood. I put the the decking and so it, it needed support in the middle so that's what I'm gonna do and then uh, yeah that's pretty much it made my mark right there with the straight edge I have my grinder right here have some gloves for protection just in case and these are the screws I'm using I'm using stainless steel hopefully they don't penetrate to the boat pretty sure they won't the wood's about like less than I believe more than half an inch so it'll be fine 
And then this is for the for the hatch. Do that later in a separate video because I haven't carpeted the, the hatch. And then so yeah, get the grinder, cut it up, have it ready. Take me a few minutes, so yeah, let's get started. Alright guys, I'm gonna I got some rivets. I already finished the cup. Got some rivets. Got one six three sixteenths uh drill bit, three six six uh rivets. So I'm gonna make a hole, hole, hole. So I got one, two, three, four rivets to do. Secure it. And then um yeah, that's pretty much it. So yep. All right guys, quick little update. It's pretty hot. As you can tell, I'm sweating. Sweating my ass off right now. But uh, we just got done. So we put another angle aluminum to support it. And then I also had an extra sp spray paint, which I colored the both with. And so I just finished spray painting it. It's not gonna be perfect, so it's gonna be covered. So I was like, you know what? Let me just spray paint it and finish it off. And then, uh, yeah, so as you can tell, here's a other part of angle aluminum we added. So you can tell I couldn't, I needed longer um, rivets and I don't have any, but I'm gonna just leave it like that. Hopefully, hopefully there's no problem. Same thing as over here. So, and then as you can tell, I finished spray painting this area. It's not perfect. As again, using Rust-Oleum, Sprouts green color. So I didn't want to leave it without spray painting it. So I just spray painted it so it could be fine. I'm waiting until that dries. I'm gonna put the decking, see how it is with the new new support in the middle. And then also screw in this decking as well. And so it's going it's going it's going along good. It's a good progress right now. So let me show you the let me show you the, the decking. As you could tell, um, I did the carpeting like a few months ago, so I could show you real quick. So as you can tell, here's the decking. Here's the hatch. The hatch is painted, it's just I ain't carp I ain't put carpet on it. So I gotta do that in a separate day. So here's the decking, and then here's the first part of the flooring, second part of the flooring underneath. It's all good to go. And then this is the screws I'm using. I'm using stainless steel. Uh, so you know, I'm using stainless steel so it won't rust, hopefully. Same thing with, same thing with the hatches. I'm gonna have to cut it in. Hopefully I'm able to use it here. Hopefully, you know. First time trying it, so I'm gonna have it like that as you can tell angle that way the wood under hopefully hopefully it works good but yeah that's a little quick update it's pretty hot in uh, Florida right now so I'm gonna put the decking in see how that fits screw them in and see how it goes from there so yeah let's continue the video all right guys we just got done putting the decking in the uh, flooring so the decking was easy you know it was easy to install as you could tell we have it right here the hatch is not ready yet so I'm gonna just leave it empty like that um, the flooring is good to go. I just had to hammer it a little bit down. It was a little tight squeeze on the edges, but as you could tell, it looks fine. Same thing over there. Same thing on this side, you could tell. It's a little tight squeeze right here. You know, but it fits perfectly fine. Uh, there's a little gap at the end, but you know, it's not going to be perfect. But yeah, we just got done, and so now we're just going to screw in the decking and the flooring. So like I said, I have these stainless steel screws right here. We're just going to screw them to secure them so they won't fly over same thing with the bottom and uh and yeah that's uh that's pretty much it for for the decking and the flooring so i have i, ha I made a video when i did the, the the carpet and the adhesive when i added the adhesive to the to the floor with the carpet as well but um i didn't edit it and so yeah i don't think i'm probably gonna upload that video but yeah so this is how here's the progress of the john boat right there now it's looking good as you could tell Alright guys, quick little update. So I got, I finished putting the decking. 
So I was thinking I probably am not going to screw in the flooring yet, just yet because I still got to sand this down and put adhesive on there. So I don't want the flooring to get all dirty. So I'm going to just leave the flooring as is. It's snug and tight so I don't think it's going to move. I just wanted to secure the decking just because uh, if it flies off and everything. So that's why I secured the decking with some screws. So um, yeah, I just got done with that. I put four screws in total. I think I'm probably going to put a little bit more. Just uh, for now, I'm probably just going to leave it as four just in case. I don't think it's going to fly off. Um, so as you can tell, I put one screw right here, one screw in the middle, and one screw right here. Um, and as well, one screw right here in the middle, and one screw right there, one screw in the middle, and one screw on the edge. And as well right here, one screw right here. What I was thinking is that I'm probably needed, needed a little bit longer screws so it could catch with the aluminum framing. But uh, I think it's going to work perfectly fine with that. And um, Probably gonna add a little bit more screws, screws just to secure it evenly and make sure it doesn't fly away. But yeah, as you can tell, it looks decent right now. Look, here's the decking; it's all sturdy. Standing on it, nothing. The decking, the hatch. I'm gonna do that later. But as you can tell, sturdy, no movement. As well as the flooring right here, a little bit of binding right here in the center, but I think it'll be fine. Same thing right here. It's perfect. Everything's everything's going good going good as playing right now so yeah that's pretty much it what I got done so far um, it's it was pretty a long process but you know it's, it's going good it's going good so far um, these screws so I recommend them they stainless steel but they're not self tappers so they broke on me as you could tell I was testing on it and the head broke so these screws are shit right here uh, so luckily I had these screws on here so these are self tapping screws they screw in into any metal if you're attaching wood to metal so luckily I had these from the previous build I had on this John belt so I tried these out and they were perfectly fine uh, a little bit longer though I recommend getting a little bit longer ones so yeah I recommend getting a little bit longer ones these work perfectly fine these are shit so I don't get these and so yeah that's pretty much it how's it going so far I'm ready for this thing to be on the water. Hell yeah. I'm tired of seeing it out here. Drinking that. Whew. All American. But why is it right there? <sighs> Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today. Tomorrow I'm going to continue this video. So as you can tell, it's going good uh, process wise. Jumbo looks decent. It looks good. You know, probably finish this up. I'm probably going to take the Jumbo out to fishing tomorrow. Who knows? But, um,. But yeah, I'm going to continue the video tomorrow, show like a little quick detail of the John boat. The same thing with my truck, what, um, the truck I'm using to pull the John boat as well. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you're trying to do a John boat build, I recommend doing it. It's going to be a process, but you know, I learned a lot. And so I'm not a handyman, so I'm not familiar with cutting and everything, but I learned a lot during the process. And you know, it's, you know, it's something to do on your days off of work, you know, keeps you busy. And so right now, like we're in a pandemic, keeps yourself busy, fixing up your little John boat, going fishing by yourself. And so that's the main reason why I'm doing it as well, because I want to take this boat fishing already. So yeah, it's going good. You can tell, going good so far. Welcome back guys, brand new day, you know, next day. So like I said, I was gonna show you a little quick tour of the boat. Also a little quick tour of the truck right here. I have it parked right there behind me. So it's a brand new day. Last night it was storming, so I had to take the water. Uh, luckily, luckily the flooring ain't, didn't get so soaked at all. But um, there was a hole at the, by the trolley motor, so I'm pretty sure water was leaking in there. And then um, as you could tell, there's water in there, not too much but um same thing it's a little little wet not as wet as expected though so i'm gonna just let it air dry real quick this is good to go it's all dry so like i said there is a hole it probably was leaking through as well the tarp i had a little minor holes at, at where the where the floor is at so yeah it was raining last night so i had to take the water out you know it was it was filled up with water so it took about like 10 minutes to take out it's not that much but like i said this is the john boat it's a 14 foot 
John Boat. Pretty sure it's from the 1990s, the John Boat. As you can tell, it's from Tractor, Sportsman, John Boat right here. And behind it is a 25 horsepower Nissan Outboard. And so, the trailer, it's an old trailer as well. It's doing its job. Later on, I gotta replace these right here, but it's still working. Same thing, the tire. This is an old tire, so I gotta replace that. And then, um, as you can tell, it's good. It's not that bad. Um, but yeah, John Boat's in good condition right now, as you could tell. Sorry, right, guys, this is the bad boy right here. It's a Nissan 25 horsepower, four stroke. You know, it's good, it's, it's working. And then, uh, gas I'm using, ethanol free gas, uh, 6.6 gallon tank right here. Same thing, regular regular marine starting uh, battery right here that I have back here. Up here in the front, I have a Minn Kota Maximum, as you can tell. It's right here, 55 pound truss right there. Yep, 55 Maximum. Brought it brand new, it's probably like a year old. So I have that up here as a trolling motor. And so, I usually have a bigger battery right here just for the trolling motor as well. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a 14 foot John Boat. 25 horsepower, four stroke Nissan outboard with the 55 pound trust uh, trolling motor. And so, yeah, this is all the, the framing of the previous videos, if you haven't seen. So this is all the framing I did, the decking as well, the flooring. Later on, like I said, I still gotta cover it, cover this with carpet. I gotta remove the adhesive. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's the 14 foot jumbo behind me. So as you could tell, a little, little view bigger view of it it's not bad decent boat so right here so as you can tell 14 foot john boat not bad all right guys so now i'm gonna take you a little quick tour of the truck i'm using to tow the boat so it's a 2020 ford f-150 as you could tell right there 2020 Ford F-150, quick overview. So it's the XLT, regular Ford F-150 XLT. It's a 5.0 V8 engine in there, so as you can tell. So yeah, the, this is the 2020 Ford F-150 XLT that I'm using. So. It has a tow package, and what else does it come? Uh, it's chrome as well, chrome doors, chrome, chrome bumper, back bumper as well. And so it has a 35 gallon extended gas tank as well, so it holds up to 35 gallons of gas. And then a uh, tow package, uh, it's not 4x4, so I don't really need 4x4. Hopefully later on in the future, don't regret it, but I don't need 4x4. And so it has has little features too, tow, tow package and stuff like that. And so, as you could tell, Ford F-150, chrome bumper. What I recently did to the truck is bed liner. It didn't come with bed liner, so I had to take it a Linex. As you can tell, did the bed liner back here. Looks awesome. And so, taking you a quick tour of the truck. So, quick tour of the truck, as you can tell. It's really spacious. It's like a gray and black interior. Same thing. Um, bought these mats as well. It's WeatherTech. WeatherTech mats. So as you can tell, really spacious back here, so you can put a lot of equipment back here. Have the little floor mat so the carpets won't get dirty. Toolbox, just in case, you know, just in case I need it. As well as some straps, some gloves, and some accessories that hopefully, you know, later on if I ever need it, it's back here. And so, comes with little pockets. AC back here as well, as you can tell. It has AC, USB, and then the AC as well, so you can charge your laptop right there, as you can tell cigarette lighter as well and so yeah it's really spacious back here you could fit up like four people even more you know how mexicans are but, um yeah this is a quick tour in the back so like i tell you got little compartments right there as well so you could fit any equipment like straps anything that you need and so seats come down as well and so here's the seats back seats really spacious back here Here's the driver's side. 
And so, regular, I didn't get the leather. Didn't really want leather, got cloth, you know. Florida's pretty hot. Black and gray interior design. Get in. Comes with, I think it's an eight inch screen right here. Car, Apple CarPlay right here as well. Comes with heat warmers as well, regular AC, you know. Trailer uh, backup as well. And a diff, diff, I believe is diff lock. And so you could turn it off, locks a diff. And then also, what else? Has different drive modes as you could tell. Turn it on, turn it back on. As you can tell, it has different drive modes. So it has regular normal mode, tow, haul, snow and wet, eco mode, and sports mode as well. And so I usually go on eco, you know, save up some gas. But sometimes I'll go to sports or just normal. And so regular car right here as well. You have cigarette lighter right there as well. You could charge any laptop and stuff just in case on the trip you need to charge your laptop. Here's two USB ports up here. And then center console is really spacious. So you got a lot of room in there. Like you could store anything in there. So really spacious. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Sunglasses as well. Don't really need that, but you know. And then um, what else? What else does it have? Oh yeah, it has a backup camera as well. And so that's the front. This is the front passenger side right here. So, weather tech mats up front. Regular compartment right there is pretty empty. Uh, what else? Two cup, you got four cup holders, two right here, two right there as well. Like I said, charger, laptop charger, hard blue seats, electronic as well. And what else? So as you can tell, hopefully you're able to see. So, five point. 5.0 V8 engine right here. V8. There's nothing bad, you know, it's a new vehicle, so. Later on, probably. So, yeah, that's the 5.0 engine right there. It's pretty. Right there, as you can tell. So, yeah, that's a little quick tour of the truck right there. So, you know, I'm not going really on details of the truck, so I'm just showing you like a little overview of the truck. So, yeah, it's a 2020 Ford F 150 XLT. 5.0 v8 as well and so it's pretty like a little great color as well it's decent and so yeah that's pretty much it that's a little quick overview don't want to bore you you know this is not a car channel who knows maybe but um yeah that's pretty much it here's the front you can tell grills chrome bumpers chrome handle doors chrome logo right there chrome doors It's a nice truck as you can tell doing his job working fine working perfectly fine quick note as well you got a little side step right there as well so yeah there's the little overview of the truck 2020 right here but yeah that's the that's the truck i'm using to pull the boat um so yeah quick overview So yeah, that's a little quick overview of the truck. It's nothing too special. So I just, like I said, recently got this truck just to pull, you know, uh, later on if I get a bigger boat, after this boat, later on if I get a bigger boat, John boat, bigger bass boat or something, I have a truck to use, I have a truck to use to pull the boat. And so previously I owned a 2004 F-150. It was a red, uh, I believe it was a super cab. And so I sold that one in order to get this one because it was a uh, manual as well. So I was kind of sketched out pulling the boat, doing boat, boat launches with the manual tr transmission. So it was kind of sketchy, but you know, it was a 2000 as well. So it's getting pretty old. So I was like, you know what? I need an upgrade. Got the Ford F-150 2020. So like I said, hopefully this bad boy is going to be in the, these videos. This bad boy is going to pull everything I tow. It's going to tow everything I own basically, even if I get any other boats, anything in the future. So I have this bad boy with me. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to show you a quick overview of the John Boat, the truck as well. And also a little update on the on the John Boat build. As you could tell, it's going, the progress is coming, you know. It's looking better as it was before. Later on, probably I'm able to take it fishing. Probably this week, after I put the hatch, I probably don't even need a hatch just to go fishing. But um, yeah, I'm probably going to charge the batteries. 
charge this this battery as well take it out fishing take it out fishing the chain of lakes and Warner Haven so yeah gotta have this bad boy pulling it so yeah guys that's pretty much it for today's video so right now it's currently 1252 right now so I gotta get ready to go to work but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video I uh, just wanted to show a quick overview of the, of the of the boat the truck I'm using as well as an update on the John boat but yeah if you enjoy the video leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more fishing content as well more content on the project jumbo right here but yeah um last video also did a video about the guggen mondo kits by guggen squad so watch that video too and hopefully you enjoy that video but yeah that's pretty much it for today peace